Hey guys, I'm Cyborg Sheep, and welcome to the Weekend Post. I hope you guys are ready, because in this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing video. Today, we are going to be unboxing the WL915 Speedboat. Check that out. Awesome, right? Oh, let's see if I can frame you screw. There you go. Pretty awesome, right? Let's get into it. Alright, right off the hop here. Try not to re read anything you see on this box. It will break your brain. Anyway, getting the box open. <laughs> Flippin' awesome. It even comes with its own dust adapter. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description. see what we got here so pretty standard uh, pretty standard two channel remote or well yeah two channel got double-a uh, batteries <laughs> and the main events oh cool I like this back here this is pretty neat that's the rudder right there. It's it's in the style of a sort of outboard motor. Pretty neat. Opening up the boat. Oh, those are reasonably tight. Oh, come on. What is? Oh, I see. <laughs> Whoops. Little uh, nubbin on the bottom there. There we go. Cool. 3 cell, 11.1 .1 volt battery, LiPo of course. And uh, the crazy thing about this thing is, check that out there. This thing is brushless. Having peed what I did, you'd expect to just find a brush motor on this thing, so thumbs up to that. <laughs> As for the remainder of what you get in the box, you get a adapter with, unfortunately, the wrong plug style, a balance charger, the lipo thankfully at least it's a balancing charger so you can just plug your balance lead in there and uh should charge no problem um only 0.8 amps of charge current though so not gonna charge especially fast and it's got some little doodads and accessories you might need for fixing this thing if it ever breaks down one thing i did notice the mounting of this propeller you see how there's a notch there, but the actual nub is sort of not placed in the slot? Yeah, that's gonna more than likely cause some problems. But uh, overall, looks pretty good, so I guess uh, let's get the battery charged up, take her out for a spin. As for charging this battery, I could use the included charger that came with the boat. However, I got this new balance charger that I want to try out. Now, these things... These things are great, because if you're even remotely into the RC hobby, they're pretty awesome. Essentially, they can charge almost any battery that you throw at them. There are certain exceptions, but basically, you got uh, your balance ports and stuff here, and they can charge all sorts of batteries, so nickel metal hydride, lead acid, and of course, lithium polymer. They come with all sorts of uh, plugs and adapters and stuff. So uh, you can hook up your batteries, and you can charge through a wall socket, or if you have a car battery, for example, or you plug into a car 12-volt outlet, cigarette lighter outlet, you can just uh, plug it in there, power it that way. Pretty handy. So if we plug it in, 
turn it on. It says uh, program program select lithium bat, and uh, you can do all sorts of things. But I think the one that I want to do is lithium bats. Okay, I think I have all the right doodads attached in the right places, and I've got the uh, charger set up correctly to charge the way I want. So, uh, just long press enter, and uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, so, if we say... Okay, 3S, that's set right. All right, cool. Looks like it's looks like it's charging. All right, sweet, cool. All right, so the cell phone is charging. Charged up, no problem. Didn't uh, didn't take too long. I was charging it at uh, at one amp, which is a little bit less than it can. A little bit less than uh, I could technically charge it at one point two, no problem. But, uh, just to be safe, and, uh, yeah, fully charged, not too bad, so, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to take it out for a spin. Well, that was a lot of fun. The boat ran for about maybe 10 minutes or so. The transmitter range, pretty perfect actually. And the boat pretty much performed exactly to my expectations. However, the one problem about it is that when your battery dies, you don't know what's going to happen. So this thing could be stranded in the middle of the lake and you have to swim for it. <laughs> Which did happen, unfortunately. However, I managed to get it. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to leave the video with that. And hope you enjoyed uh, watching, the, driving around the boat and getting it unboxed. I don't know if you'll see this much in the future, but I'll be using it quite a lot. So, I'll see you dudes in the next video.